Welcome back everyone, this week we're at Go For June. So I came on the Sunday because um, my friends from Holland were visiting and uh, I didn't really want to abandon them and also like, I had like this tingling in my bones that Saturday was going to be awful. <laughs> so I heard that it was an absolute nightmare on Saturday. Mud, chaos, carnage, bikes buried like the top of your helmet deep into the mud like oh so Sunday I come down it's absolutely glorious I was um fairly happy with uh how I did that MX part although you don't need to see how many places I lost I think I like made it into the first quarter at like about 10th and probably finished coming out into the woods at about like 25th but having never like I, I'm not an MX guy I was a little bit very timid <laughs> but I start making up some places going back into the woods and um, my tactic for today because I heard that people said that some people said that they did a walk of the track and they said it's just as bad as yesterday I don't think that was quite true as just as bad but it was definitely was um, my tactic afterwards was basically just take it easy uh, try and pick good lines and I think that kind of paid off so um, I managed to do five laps overall, and um, I came uh, 54th out of 113 overall, and 20th in class out of 31. So I'm pretty happy with that. My first lap was the fastest lap, um, probably, probably because I was like the fittest at that point. Like, my, my sorry, my freshest. Here I'm trying to make some passes again, like uh, trying to take alternate lines where I, I don't see them as too bad. Uh, maybe I can get sneak around someone who's getting hung up on stuff, but yeah, it didn't quite work out this lap or, or any laps, but I think the theory still stands strong um, Got my peg caught on that tree. need to make sure I didn't do that. Those poles there were, were deep You fall in there, your, your pegs are getting stuck um, <laughs> So uh, my, 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 my theory was like, you know, my, my tactics sorry, was just write carefully Don't fall in any holes. You'll probably do half decent I never do good at go for dunes. It's way too fast for me, um, and or I, I like I'm just not confident in this style of um, this place. Uh, <laughs> I, I've got no nothing to complain about my bike. The grip was good. Everything felt good. I'm just you know not used to it. And then I was getting like freaked out by the the ruts and the mud and uh, like throw an MX as well. Obviously I was just a little bit out of my comfort zone. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with 20th out of uh, out in class, seeing as um, I think I counted like, I, I think it was like 25th or something coming into the woods. So I managed to pick up a few places. After the first lap I was 23rd. I, I, I seemed to be about 23rd, tw uh, 23rd, 24th, 22nd, and then on my last lap I got to 20th. So I, I guess I, I made some <laughs> time back maybe people got too exhausted and couldn't keep going um but i that's another part of the tactic right uh just keep keep going do more laps than the other people um my fastest lap was 26 56 which isn't particularly great but um afterwards i started falling more and getting stuck more and doing silly things um so, you know, by my third lap was my worst, uh, well, I, I guess my last lap was the worst lap, but at that lap I was just trying to survive. But um, my third lap, I, I just kept falling everywhere, and I was so annoyed. So then my fifth lap was probably, well, was my second fastest, but I think it would have been my fastest. It was a 27 minute 32 on my fourth lap, and even though my hand was really, really sore, um, I felt like I was riding really well. So the parts where I was on the bike... <laughs> I was moving quite good and I was, I was very happy about that um, but because I had it turns out ripped the entire of my palm open because I got a blister probably because I was shit scared from riding in lap three and two and, and gripping way too hard and my gloves were a little sweaty it's 29 degrees today it's quite 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 warm and as you can see the ground is quite wet well it's not wet it's like it's not wet like Saturday <laughs> but the ground was soft and I was just gripping on. Ah, uh, I made some more. I saw, I saw they all go to the right, I saw that the path goes to the left, and I was like, I can get over that log. I did. Made a couple of places back there. Pretty happy about that. Okay. This is what I was trying to do all day. Just little jumps here and there. Try and pick up pick up some places. So, and it kind of works here and there. And then, on the faster bits, like 15 people just ran past me because I... am <laughs> too slow. Someone's stuck. This, there was a lot of people stuck in a lot of places. That one wasn't even so bad. He's managed to at least get the front of his bike out. 
Um, unfortunately, most annoyingly, uh, I got sprayed with mud later in this lap and I lost some really good footage of my second lap. And um, it's, it's a bit of a shame because there was, a, there was a, uh, sorry, on my first lap I got sprayed and I, I lost quite a lot of footage until the third lap. Um, and it's a bit of a shame because there was one guy who managed to go off the bridge and uh, I, well, I think he got he got out clearly because the next lap where I came around he wasn't there anymore so he clearly got out and he was fine. I couldn't see what number he was. Yeah, so I got sprayed and I was like, no, but I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was on my camera so I didn't realize until I was checking the footage later. So there you go, you can see him in the in the water. What number is that? 522. I'm sure he beat me. He probably got out and still beat me. Um, I don't see him on the list. I'm sure he's right. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yes. Um, 522. No, he didn't beat me, but that's probably because he only did four laps. I'm not sure why. Maybe he ran out of fuel or water. Because looking at his lap times, he definitely should have beat me. Even, <laughs> even falling in the river, he was only, only 30, 20 seconds behind me. Even falling in the river. He should have beat me. I guess he just ran out of fuel and just didn't do a fifth lap, so I beat him because of that. But that's it. Tactic. Just go one more lap. <laughs> Smash your body to pieces. One more lap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, go for Dunes. It's, uh, this, they, I, I, I think they've been taking feedback or something because every time I come back, the track does improve. And they can't control the weather, so and everybody knows, like you know, springtime is going to be wet. So there's nothing you can do about that. I'm like panic cleaning my head up by my, my thing now. Every time someone goes by, so obviously I keep cleaning it quite often because I get overtaken by a billion people. So yeah, second lap round. Uh, sorry, third, I think this is the third lap round now. Um, obviously, he's not there. Uh, but yeah, the I think they've been improved taking feedback and improving it because the the riot the, the the track is getting so good. The the trail itself was so nice. I really liked how they did like um, dual fast lanes into single trail and the single trail um, would then split again into like these little slightly wider open areas like this and there's lots and lots of different routes through here. If it wasn't just rutted to shit this would be such a good um, such a good trail and I, there's so many passing opportunities that like people would be able to go all over the place. It would be absolutely well it is a, a, an amazing course that they built it's just a sh you can't control the weather so if it had been dry this this track would be absolutely immense and probably extremely fast because <laughs> it was already pretty fast but it would have been extremely fast um yeah I averaged 21 kilometers per hour which is not the fun not doesn't sound hugely impressive but seeing as i basically felt like i was paddling around like pushing my feet through the mud <laughs> Uh, I'm still pretty happy with that. So some other observations that uh, I'm very happy with that this uh, that this race just this part here. I uh, went to the left a little bit on I, I think it was like my fourth fourth or fifth lap. I can't remember. I was I was really tired at that point and I kind of overshot the corner and and then I um, ended up alongside like horizontally sorry like perpendicular to one of those um, not horizontal perpendicular to those those logs and I was like oh no but I managed to do a pivot and get over it in one go I was so happy <laughs> one smooth pivot over it and I was free to go on so my pivot practice has started to pay off uh, I used it once to my success <laughs> so so that was very success very uh, very successful in my mind I was very happy about that that's the first time I managed to actually do a pivot and like just land it I was like oh I got over the rocket and uh, log and everything um, what else? Um, another thing I noticed, I was a like um, a heavy breathing, dribbling mess at the start because my, I, th I think this is like one of those things that um, is to do with your like lack of cardio, basically. Um, so my first lap, I was coughing a lot um, because I was getting a lot of phlegm build up because my heart rate was too high for my cardio. Uh, so I definitely need to work on my cardio a bit more. Um, <laughs> so I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll work on that this year. I keep saying that I, I'll work on it. I have been trying, but it's, it's difficult because I'm lazy. So that's that's that. Um, so yeah, I'll work on my cardio. 
Uh, it doesn't help because I work from home, so now I don't even have like the luxury of walking to work. Because I, I used to live 15 minutes walk from my office, so you know I get my cardio walking sprightly at, at a sprightly speed uh, to and forth the office. But now I don't have an office anymore because my office is in San Diego, so it's a little far away. <laughs> so I just I just work at home, and now I need to actively go out and do cardio. Um, not that walking was particularly hard cardio, but you, you get the gist. I need to do cardio. I need to put effort in. So I'm going to make that um, a priority this year. Like I do, I, 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 don't, um, I don't find my strength a problem. It's, it's just my cardio. So um, another thing, I didn't get any leg cramp, which was, which was great. Although it was only a two and a half hour. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I only rode two and a half hours because... Uh, yeah, I know the, the the race is two hours, but but I um, you know that fifth lap basically took me all the way through to I don't know like two hours and twenty or something. Um, but no leg cramp, so that was good. I did get tricep cramp, which was the first. Uh, <laughs> in fact, at that point, I saw um, Isaac. Uh, he just passed me, um, uh, maybe a minute or less before. He actually bumped into me when he passed me. I thought that was hilarious. And then he waved and said sorry. <laughs> so I thought he recognised me, but I, I think he was too in the zone because he was—I think he was competing for like um, podium at that point. So he was really going for it. And um, and then I came around a corner where it was like really muddy and there was just like cross ruts everywhere. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do here? And um, and uh, yeah, whilst I was waiting, my tricep started cramp up in my left arm. I was like, what the hell? And. Uh, in about like I don't know, like 20 seconds later, I just I just shaked it out and drank some more water, and, and I was good to go again. But that, that, that was the first. Another thing um, observed: the suspension was fantastic in the woods. I probably needed to dial it out more for the MX side because I did bottom out over one of the jumps on my second lap. I was like, oh, okay, so I I, I get it. I can go a little faster. Oh, drop the bloody bike. It was yeah, like what we're we doing here. Um. Yeah, so I'll try and beat that thing up. Well, it was too high. Now it's too low. There we go. That's good enough. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, on my second lap, I was like, oh, I can go a little faster, and then I hit just over jumped and completely bottomed out everything. I was like, it was a pretty hard landing. I thought I might have um, maybe like you know dangerous get close to dangerously popping a tire, but it, it didn't obviously. But yeah, maybe I need to dial up dial up the settings a little bit more and then after that I was just too spooked to try and figure out what speed it is and obviously only practicing the jump once every 27 minutes is not gonna it's not gonna help okay so that was my third lap so yeah that was the lap where I just kept crashing uh, yeah um, so yeah, not suboptimal not, not great so this lap I was like all right pull it out ride better do better don't crash, because each time you crash, like you, I waste so much time. So this lap, um, unfortunately, I didn't crash so much, but I did get stuck behind a tree, like late in the lap, um, and I like, uh, I, I, I went a little wide on one thing and dropped the bike. So there was one crash, which I have a clip of, and then I and then I got stuck behind a tree later in the lap, which was quite frustrating, and I probably lost a getting stuck behind that tree. I probably lost like um, at least a minute, at least. So, looking at my lap time, it was like, ah, oh, damn, I could have actually got a really good time had I not got stuck behind that tree. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's a mistake. Don't do it. Just ride better. Ride better, ride faster. But I was feeling pretty good this lap, so um, I was trying to really stand up, work on that kind of stuff. I think I'm actually sat right now the boss saying I was going to try to stand up. But, yeah, the suspension was working great through all of this stuff. Um, there were some bits where I felt like the bike was so smooth over all the bumps and I was having an absolute great time. Like, the bike felt amazing. Can't complain about tires. I had more traction than I could ever use. I didn't want to go through that rut there because I saw someone stuck earlier there. Um, so, yeah, pop, pop a little wheelie, get out. They had plenty of traction. Um, I don't know, for the people who didn't come, it doesn't look to come to the race it doesn't look that bad and in this section it's it's totally fine um the, the grip is great uh i was just scared of some of the the cross the cross ruts and also just not very good at riding the ruts 
I just need a lot more practice. No, no excuse, just practice more, just get better. And um, some of the other bits where it doesn't look so wet as the day before, um, it's just the ground was all very soft, so it would just, it would just, um, it would just, uh, you would just dig in if you spun the wheel. Um, but I was, I, I had no complaints about how the, the tires were and everything. I, it was all great. I'm not getting like the Walter One flashbacks where. <laughs> Last year, where I I took the uh, uh, worn out tires to a mud race, and that was just an absolute shit show because I couldn't I couldn't control the bike. This time, totally fine. The bike was doing what I was wanting it, what I was what I was capable of making it do. <laughs> I'm sure the bike in someone's better hands would they would have had no problem. Um, it's just me. So yeah, overall, there's a few observations that I just had to take away. It was just get better, ride better, um, improve my cardio. Uh, and so I don't just turn into a dribbling mess on the first lap and just keep coughing and choking myself out, which is not great. Um, yeah. So, I think this next event, I've, there we've got the Midhurst Trail Ride, which would be nice and relaxing in comparison. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It was, it's a very nice ride, a nice day out, get to see people and chat with friends and just go for a nice little organized trail ride and support the local community. Um, and then we got RJ's, which is, I'm looking forward to that. That was a really good course, although um, sandy, but that, should, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, then, yeah, Cochrane's, I haven't done that one before, so that one should be interesting. Um, I'm not even sure where it is. <laughs> There's no address posted on the uh, Off-Road Ontario uh, thing, but... Oh, this bit. This bit was super, super nice. Like, if the trails were all like this, I would have been having an absolute blast. The bike felt so good. I, I, I couldn't feel a bump. Um, I'd say I was stuck behind him, but I'm not. He, he brasses off. <laughs> So it's like you can see this, it's just I just had to be careful to get through this stuff because I don't have the skill to go fast through it. Um, and yeah, it, it's wet and it's all soft and people are getting stuck all over the place. And yeah, just I was trying to just pick good lines. I think um, this is in this clip, I, I, I get through the mud and then I just overshoot it on the other side. Uh, where I, I don't know, I think I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and as a result, I dropped the bike. It's quite annoying. <laughs> but that's not the one where I got stuck. It's just a silly fool. So you can see the bike's doing just fine. It's, it's just me. I'm basically sat over the rear tyre trying to make, make it grip in, but it's, it's picking up just fine. And making progress. This the day before must have been absolutely horrible. Stalled. See, not so bad. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it is. I'm trying to watch a child walk for the first time. <laughs> oh, where am I going? <laughs> I hit a tree and then hit another tree. Well, should have paid more attention, but you get the gist. That was like the one one fall that I had on the third lap. Uh, just shitty crash into a tree because I didn't turn properly, and then I got stuck one other time. But other than that, this was my favourite lap. Well, my fastest lap because I was riding the best that I thought I could. Um, yeah, so again, if the people who run Go for Dunes watch this, absolutely great track. You can't control the weather. I thought the trail, the, the actual route um, for the track was fantastic. Uh, just hope for slightly better weather next year. I don't mind th that it was wet. <laughs> it's, it's just the, seeing people suffer on Saturday was like, holy shit. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think that'll do. I'll see you guys at the Midhurst or see you at RJ's. Thanks. See you.